Hey guys, it's your boy Stoob back again with week six of the Gym Leader Challenge. Um, so up against this week we have our, our guy uh, Twinner. Uh, so Twinner could either be using an electric team or a uh, poison team. So this is the team setup that we uh, brought this week. And uh, we'll go through the, the list real quick. So starting off, kind of the staple of the ice team being that slow king. Um, really expecting him to bring a uh, poison team to the matchup this week. So bring in the psychic just to deal with um, those poison types. Trick room just in case he wants to set a trick room of his own. And call mine just in case we want to set up some kind of uh, extra defenses since we aren't running that much investment in our special defense, so if we need it, we can always call mine just to get us a little boost there. Uh, Regenerator and then the Icy Rock to work with that chili reception so we can get that defense boost on all of our Pokemon while it's snowing. Uh, next Mon, we got the Baxcalibur. So Baxcalibur here, kind of another staple to the Ice Team. Um, rocking the Assault Vest just because if we are seeing some kind of electric team, um, most of them are going to be special attackers, so getting that defense boost is going to be nice. And Thermal Exchange, just in case we see some fire moves or something like that coming into the Bax Caliber, hopefully we can uh, switch him in onto a cheeky fire move and get that cheeky, you know, little attack boost if need be. Rocking the Earthquake because it deals super effective damage to both types. Ice Shard just to get something quick, Glaive Rush, and Icicle Crash just to get those uh, stab bonuses in case we need those. Uh, max HP, max attack, just want to keep them alive and hit them hard. Uh, next we have the Frost Last. So doing a bit of testing and I needed something to deal with Sneasler if he does bring poison. So this is kind of the creation that I came up with. I needed something fast. So with base 110 speed, throw on a choice scarf, and we didn't put any EVs into it, but or IVs into it, but this will outspeed a Sneasler as long as it does not hold a choice scarf. Max speed Sneasler with our choice scarf, you know, we'll be able to outspeed that and hit it with a psychic and just take it right out. We don't want to mess around with that thing. Um, Icy Wind just for some speed control. Shadow Ball for Stab, and then Blizzard to hit both targets while Snow is going. Then we'll bring in the Weavile, kind of a basic Weavile set here. Max Attack, Max Speed, with a Focus Sash, just trying to get that Fake Out Chip, Ice Shard Chip, and then Shadow Claw and Ice Spinner just for some coverage moves. Um, next we brought the Cryogonal. I wasn't sure if he was going to bring Poison or Electric, so if he did bring Poison, uh, toxic spikes are a thing, so we wanted something with rapid spin just to kind of deal with that and then levitate so it's not going to take the poison if I have to switch into it. Um, we can just get those spikes wiped away. Um, Aurora Veil just for some extra protection while we have the snow going and then freeze dry if we see something like uh, Toxapex or something like that we can hit it for super effective while still getting that stab bonus and then Ancient Power. Um, if he does bring the electric, we kind of have something to hit um, a few of those Rotoms. Um, this Cryogonal deals with Rotom Wash, Rotom Heat, Rotom Fan, uh, Rotom Frost. If he wants to try to play me in my own battle, um, you know, Ancient Power can hit all of those for super effective damage. Uh, leftovers, just because we are running a little bit of a bulky set um, rather than just all special attack and all speed. Um, so we want to try to keep it around a little bit. Um, nice special defensive wall. Now that it, you know, I'm looking at it a little more closer with that 135 special defense. Didn't realize it was so bulky, but hopefully this comes in handy for us. And then to round out the team here, we have the Frost Moth. Um, so safety goggles, just in case we see like a Moongus or something like that with those spores, um, prevents it from falling asleep. Ice scale, so it's taking half damage from special attacks. And then with that blizzard, just to uh, kind of go along with everything else here. When the snow, getting that, uh, you know, hitting both mons and never missing with that blizzard. Tailwind, in case we need a little bit of speed with us battling a, an electric team, 
electric teams are known to be pretty quick. So Tailwind just to kind of try to outspeed things. Um, defog on here in case whatever happens to Cryagonal, we can't do Rapid Spin. We can always come in and defog something away. So just an extra set of hands there. And then Bug Buzz just to uh, deal with, you know, um, Mons like um, Psychic types. So like the Slowbro, Slowbro, and Slow King, Galarian, Slow King. Um, kind of helps out and do some decent damage with that. But uh, that's kind of the team that we're rocking with this week. Um, so let's switch over to the battle. Alright guys, and we're back with the battle here. Up against Twinner, and we do see the electric team, which is not something I was planning for, but... We do see that... Hydragon. We have the Luxray. We have Palmont. Electros. And Rotom Heat. Okay. So, first things first, I do want to get the snow up so we do get that um protection well this goes for it goes for physical defense what do we got physical okay we're gonna run it good luck have fun All that prep for poison right out the window. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, so we got a Terra and we're gonna fake out the Hydra down. Both gonna tear her here. <clears throat> so we get the fake out. What the amphibian is gonna do? Power down. Okay. Just go right into backs and just start earthquaking. We are salt dust, so we should live some stuff here. Um, so we're gonna click earthquake there. Oh, this thing has levitate, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's fine. Um. I kind of just want to get rid of this, so we'll go like this and get rid of the Hydreigon. Okay, that thing's definitely dead. Flash Cannon. Okay. This is gonna dazzle and blame. Okay. <clears throat> Palma. Probably gonna revival blessing. Okay. 
Okay. So we ice shard. We see a mock punch. That's fine. And for us lives. And we see a power jump again. And we live in. Let's go back. Um, so we'll go here. So Hydrodon gone. Paul Mott's gone. Certain heat's kinda gonna be a problem. Um Let's do this. We'll get rid of those levitate mons. Any withdrawal of Ampharos, that's fine. Gerotum. That's cool. Oh, and we get a freeze. That's unfortunate. And we get the KO anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we're gonna Ice Shard here, try to pick up the KO, and I'm actually gonna Aurora Veil. Nope, not enough, but that's fine. Other heat on to cry out of And we got White Herb. <clears throat> so I kind of want to go into this and start clicking shadow ball or we can click we can click closer choice scarf so we're gonna pick up the KO and then we can actually ancient power this thing. Okay. Okay, do we get a boost? No boost. Cry on the living. the Luxray. So we're just gonna do the same thing. Okay. Oh my god, another freeze. It's not gonna matter. This is gonna pick up the KO. There goes Rotom. That was, was that Psychic Fang, maybe? And if guts. Yep, let's just do this. And we'll Blizzard, and we'll Blizzard. Hopefully between these two we should pick up the KO. Oh, uh, we'll just get a crit. That's fine. Um, GG's game one. On to the next one. Alright. 
high I really really expected him to go poison poison would have been the play in my opinion but you know it is what it is it is what it is So uh, we'll just go the same lead, get that snow up early, and then uh, just start getting rid of things. So I know he'd probably think about what to go with now. Um, I really expected Revival Blessing from that uh, Palmot, but... opted for the mock punch instead. Alright, game two. Hydragon Palma. Okay. We're gonna do the exact same thing. may try to mock punch me. It might have fake out. It's got fake out, that's fine. Let's go for it next turn. I just want to get rid of this Hydrogon. We don't want to deal with it. All these Levitate Moms that he brought, we just want to get rid of them quickly. Fake out. Cool. Call out mock punch. So no fake out. Okay. And we get the chili. Okay. And I think we just go right in the back. Um, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna swap this out. We'll go back into cryo and again I'm just gonna do the same thing. Mock punch, it's fine. Nasty plot. I kind of goofed here, didn't I? I definitely goofed. But it's fine. He's got a nasty plot. Not thinking again, rushing into stuff. Um, Glaive Rush, and now nah, we're gonna freeze dry. Okay, we're living. Freeze dry. Good chunk. Slash cannon. We're living. Because the salt vest is OP. Cool. Hydragon, don't. Which one is next? I kind of want to switch this out into Frost Laugh. If he's going to try to mock punch again. That way we get a free switch into Frost Laugh and we can start dealing Blizzard damage. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, so we're gonna Glaive Rush. We're gonna switch this into Frostless. OK. 
Okay. Mock punch, just like we thought. Goes right in the front flat, does an effect. <clears throat> Glaive Rush takes out Electros. We got the Rotom. It's fine. I'm gonna go Glaive Rush again and Blizzard. Mock Punch. Might be losing back caliber here. I don't know if we outspeed this Rotom. I don't think we do. Yeah. Oh, he goes Hex into the Frost Last. Wow. Why would you... Hex. I guess if you're thinking it's gonna KO it. So, what do we got left? Luxray Ampharos. Okay. I think we outspeed, but we're gonna do this anyways. <clears throat> we can still come in next turn and um, fake something out. I don't know. Okay, so we did outspeed both of those. So Lux Race down. Ampharos got a power. Oh, it's just gonna Dazzling Gleam. And that is pretty much GG's at this point. And we'll double Blizzard for the game. All right, well. That was that. A nice quick one there. Uh, well, thanks so much for watching. We'll be back next week for more battles. See you guys.